All right, welcome to my tutorial to build your own Bluetooth speaker. This kit was designed so that all you would need is a Phillips screwdriver and pliers. Everything else, the whole kit, can be purchased on my website. So check out the link. Okay, just orienting you a little bit, the side we're looking at is the front, where the speakers go. Now that's the top with the volume control knob, and that'd be the side where we put other connectors and switches and LEDs. First step is to take off the front part of the enclosure, the top, so I'll unscrew the screws and keep them in a safe place. So now on its side, I'm going to show you a diagram of how I laid everything out. So pause this and take a look and mark it so you can come back to it. Put the LEDs on one side and then the connectors and the switch on the other. Okay, so start with the LEDs. And the first step is just to remove the washer and the nut. And do that for all three LEDs. Okay, next step is to thread the LED through the hole and then put the washer back on first and then the nut. Thread it through the string and just hand tighten. So I push my finger against the side of the LED while I tighten with my other hand. And if you need to use the pliers, you can here too. And that's what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, the next one we're going to work on is the power supply connector. And this one is the same. Remove the washer and the nut on this one. Um, and actually, we will throw that washer away because we are not going to use it. The power supply connector goes in from the other side and pushes through. Sometimes it's a little tough and you have to kind of thread it through. Once you get the connector through, take the nut, place it on there, and, and hand tighten and then use the pliers to tighten the rest of the way. Next is the 3.5 millimeter cable or the eighth inch cable connector. So take off the nut again and push it through the same as the power supply connector. Once you have it through, I put my thumb or finger on the nut and twist the connector side to tighten. Once that's tight, the last one will be the power switch. So again, take off the nut and the washer, and then push it through the inside. And then replace the washer and the nut. This washer has a notch in it, so be careful for that. And then tighten these down with the pliers. Our last one is the volume control. So again, remove the washer and the nut, and we're going to throw the washer away for this one. Push it through and replace the nut with your fingers at first and then you'll need to use the pliers. Make sure the volume control is oriented that way and then you can place the six pin connector into the volume control connector. With these connectors, you don't have to push very hard and try and put something behind it to, so you don't flex the circuit board too much. Okay, then turn the volume to the left, counterclockwise all the way, and place the volume cap on by just pushing it down. And there you go, that's all the way turned up and all the way turned down. 
Now we're onto the circuit board. There's a jumper that we need to remove. So pull that out with your fingers and set that aside or throw it away. And the way I secure this to the enclosures with a, a small screw, so I place it in one of the holes and then I put that circuit board into the enclosure and line it up with one of the holes that are already in the enclosure and tighten that down. And make sure that your circuit board is oriented the same way as you see here so it doesn't get too confusing. That big black connector at the bottom and the Bluetooth antenna at the top with the six pin volume control connector up there. And that's the first thing we're going to plug in is that volume control connector. I just use a little bit of tape to keep the cords untangled and on the sides of the enclosure. The next connector will be the on-off switch. The red LED will be next. Plugs in on the right side of the circuit board, just below that power switch. Then we'll do the blue LED, which signals the Bluetooth status. The 3.5 millimeter connector is next. Just make sure you follow the diagram carefully. Next is the green LED, which is the charging status. And then the power supply connector. It's got a clip that faces the left side of the circuit board. Next is the battery board. This kit uses three 18650 size lithium ion batteries. And you just want to make sure that you place the batteries in the correct orientation and then plug in the four pin connector into the battery board. So now place the battery board on the other side of the enclosure and move the cords around. It can get a little tough to get them tangled. Use some tape if you need to and then plug the battery board into the circuit. And again I take a, one little screw and and screw the battery board into that hole just on one side, one corner. Next we'll take the enclosure front side where the speakers go, flip it upside down and place the gasket along the cutout for it. This makes it so that the top and the bottom of the enclosure close and are airtight. Gives you a better bass sound. If you have a little bit extra left over, just put your fingernail down, stretch it, and pull it off. It breaks pretty easy. Now we place that on top of the rest of the enclosure and put the speakers in. I usually face the terminals down towards the bottom of the speaker. And then place the screws in the pilot holes and start to screw in. I do crisscross pattern diagonally screw in just a little bit and tighten as I go around so that you can really tighten that speaker in. And do the same thing on the other side. Alright, now it's time for the most important part. Let's plug the speakers in. So start by plugging that connector with this click, the snap at the towards the bottom of the enclosure and then separate the wires to keep track of which is left, which is right, which is plus, and which is minus. This is the most important part. If you wire these backwards or wrong, the speakers won't sound. So because these speakers have a little protective pad in front of them, you can flip this over and work on it that way. I'm showing you another angle here, so be sure and plug in whichever speaker is the right speaker minus and the right speaker plus. Make sure those all line up. If you end up with something that sounds like it has thinner bass than you think it should, it could be that you have these this polarity switched. 
and you might have a minus where a plus should go on one of the speakers. Once you have your speaker wires connected, place the enclosure top back on, put the screws in, and screw them down. Watch for any gaps on the sides and make sure you're, you don't have any cables that are sticking out or sticking into there so you can get as nice of a seal as possible. All right, plug it in. The green light should turn on. And then once you turn it on, the red light will turn on and the blue light will flash looking to pair. Once you're paired with something, the blue light will go solid. Um, and then here I disconnect again to show you once you plug in an, a 3.5 millimeter cable or an eighth inch cable, um, that takes over, takes the precedence and the blue light should go solid again. So that's how you know everything's functioning. When you turn the circuit off, it takes a little while for the red LED to go out. So just give it some time. And finally, when you're finished charging, the green LED will turn off and you'll know you're done charging. That's it, you're all done. Now you have an awesome portable Bluetooth speaker that you built yourself. Check out my website to ask me any questions you have and to see other kits that I've got. Thanks for stopping by.